Hello, my name is Peter Mal, the moderator for the digital imagery, which took place in April 21. Uh, my co-moderator were Mustak Shin from India, Dr. Ann Palmer from India, I am from Jamaica. Um, the digital imagery, um, it was a five weeks activities. Within the five weeks activities, we managed to accomplish plenty. Um, the digital imagery was basically a five weeks activities and the participants were from almost all the country, all the continents, um, South America, um, North America, the Caribbean, Africa, India, that's Asia. So within that, the interaction was very engaging, very exciting. Um, we managed to meet, to learn, and to share. But the biggest problem was that the time factors in terms of synchronizing. Oh. Within our session, we managed to, um, to use Moodle with the guidance of Dr. Nelly, who consistently provided technical, technical help troubleshoot and to ensure that everything runs to the team both day and night she was there um, we spend per week live session three hours every single week where we meet we discuss and we demonstrate three hours every Sunday we could not do in the week because it will conflict with other stuff. Our general objective and expected outcome was that because this is the first time everyone um, is diving into the digital imagery, it's very challenging because with the number of steps, a number of terminology, um, the executions. So um, our objective basically to condense it, to make it simple and then again at the same time engaging the participant to do incremental activities step-by-step -step activities to get it done uh, with the help of demonstrations which demonstrate and they will understand again we provide uh, the video where each and everyone can follow material reading materials video tutorial which was done before which is provided as a references to get something done. So that was our objective and we met our objective and the outcome was perfectly good. Our weekly task consists of step-by-step um, -step activities. So what we did, um, we demonstrate uh, the task at hand to be done or to get um, editing done. We explore the tool. We mainly explore the tool and the execution. So every Sunday we demonstrate that. So within the week now, participants will get to practice and post in their feedback. We make some correction like that. Uh, with the help of other resources which was available, um, everything was under the onto the points and we managed to achieve those objectives. Um, based on how we structure the program, in week five is a time when we exhibit our work. Um, we display all whatever was done. So all the work which was done, uh, it was displayed um, using, the, uh, using padlets. And then within the padlets, um, anyone can make comments and view the, the work done. Um, at the same time, 
they reflect through um, the activities what that went through in order to achieve that. So reflection part was being done in the Padlet. So with that, we learned so many things that feedback is very important in most cases. You have to get a feedback. You have to liaise with the participant in order to get it done. Sometimes the simplest thing, uh, the participant will run the slight trouble. So um, they express their experiences, what they have encountered, what was so easy and what was so difficult and all of that. But in all, we never encountered much problem. Every single thing was a positive. The only problem that we run into, timing. I'm suggesting that next in 2020, 2022, we need to have um, a comprehensive timetable where every single activity flows to leave rooms for other people so they, they're able to attend more than one session. Because what happened is that sometimes there's an overlap of an activities or, or, or learning. So person will not be able to attend it despite the fact they want to do it. They always run into problem of time. So we need to have uh, a standard time listed already. Uh, everyone will click on that time, they'll get into that. So there should not be a conflict of time. Uh, it should be done so that it gives the opportunity for other people so they can attend more than one. Because every 21 provides a lot of wonderful activities, uh, which I would want to do all of it, but I could not do any of it because of the time. So that's my conclusion. And again, thank you for your time for listening. Um, I hope to see you again. Um, if you learn something, that's a positive. If you don't learn anything, next time you'll, you'll learn many more. Thank you. Bye-bye.